ask you what what do you capture in this movie that you think his fans will appreciate that tells more of the story of who Justin is and is becoming? You know, we, we made the first movie, Never Say Never, and it was really successful. And we told the whole story about a kid who kind of came from nothing and, and had a dream and lived that dream. Mm -hmm. And we decided this movie, we did it independently. And we thought, we'll just, you know, show the concert and the experience. And we're not really going to make it into a big movie. And then over the last nine months, um, Justin got into trouble sometimes. A few. A few times. A few times. <laughs> and uh, we started seeing kind of this thing going on of just the press over and over again gotten to a place where they could get away with anything. Mm -hmm. And there's a point where you just can't respond to every single rumor. Mm -hmm. So we just had to let it go. And um, I could sit there and address every single one, but it was ridiculous. So we decided with this movie, we're going to address it all at once. And we had uh, our director, John Chu, actually sit down with Justin. He did a three-hour sit-down interview with him where wow. he asked him really hard questions. Questions like, people think you're the next train wreck. How do you respond? Mm -hmm. um, and... We decided instead of running away from the issue, we're going to just go after it head on. And we made a family movie that kind of if the last one represented hope, this one is, you know, how do you respond to adversity? How do you respond to getting knocked down? What stood out to you when you first met him? It, it was strange. You know, I had said to a buddy of mine in the music industry two weeks before I found Justin that this, is, this was missing. Something like, you know, a kid with an angelic voice singing great love songs kind of remind us of a time when we believed in love before we got older and jaded. <laughs> um, I'm not in that category. I'm still a believer. <laughs> believer. Um, and uh and you know, from the moment I saw Justin, I actually knew he would get to here. I knew he would be this worldwide phenomenon. I knew what we could do together. And when Usher came aboard, it it was the missing piece. Mm -hmm. Um it's what he you know, now it's it's kinda like parenting. Like you get him to that point and now it's on him. Mm -hmm. You know, it's where he needs to decide what he you know, where he goes from here. He has all the tools, um, his nope. talent won't betray him. And I think, you know, that's, you know, shameless plug about the movie that what we really do show is we give insight into a life that no one could really understand. We give insight into a life that really no one's ever lived in humanity. No one's ever grown up in front of camera phones and Twitter and Instagram and social media on this level and been this famous as a solo artist. You know, even when Usher did it, you know, he, he once told Justin, he goes, look, you're going through some stuff, but at least you can see your family every day on Skype. He goes, I had to go to a payphone. Right. His issue is he's fighting with really wanting to be normal mm -hmm. and wanting people to respect him and be treat him like a normal kid, but then also the responsibility of the fact that he's not allowed to be normal.